Hi there, it's Jennifer, and I'm here for week three of the organizational challenge that I am doing along with um, a bowl full of lemons, which you can find at a bowl full of lemons.net. Um, I'm actually not associated with a bowl full of lemons other than the fact that I love their website, um, uh, but um, I'm just taking part in the challenge that they're putting out. I think it's called Home Organizing 101. And um, anyway, what they do is they send you every single week a different place in your home to organize, clean, wipe down, organize, whatever. Some of the projects are bigger than others, um, like the kitchen is a huge thing. Um, unlike some other projects that maybe like this one from last week, which, you know, kind of wasn't as big of a deal, at least for me. But um, anyway, it's really nice. You can, if you're already signed up for their newsletter, you don't need to do anything more. You just need to check your email because you're getting notifications about this. If you're not currently signed up, there is a place where you can sign up just for this challenge. And then at the end of the 14 weeks, you won't get any more of their notifications about this. Um, but I just think their website is great. They have all kinds, they have printables for life planners and um, and uh, like my holiday planner video that I did, I got I printed that out from their website. I mean, you, you pay for, for these things, but, um, but they're really nice things. And then of course, reusable, you can print them over and over once you've purchased them. But they also have different ideas for organizing and um, even decorating while you're organizing your home. So, um, okay, so the first week was organizing the kitchen. If you have not seen that video already, that was organization week one, the kitchen, and that's in um, my list of videos. And then the next week, I showed the results of my kitchen and then told you the new challenge. And then that brings us to now. The new challenge was to work on your laundry room. And so, I, um, I actually have a fairly small laundry room and it's not that messy. So I did not, I did not have a lot of work to do in my laundry this past week, but I did work on some things. So, um, so anyway, um, I want to go ahead and show you that. And then after I, after I show you my laundry room, then, um, then we'll go into the, um, the, ne the next challenge for what that is. So um, so anyway, you can go back to week two, the organization um, week two video to see what my, um, what my laundry room looked like before. I didn't do a whole lot to change it, you guys. I cleaned it and I did some things um, as far as the or decorations go. I haven't decided really what I wanna do yet, so I kept it very, very simple. So let me just be quiet and show you my laundry room. Here we go. So as you can see, that I didn't do a whole lot to decorate the bathroom. I hung a picture here, and then there's a little quilt rack that I had in another room that was kind of taking up unnecessary space. This is just a little thing that I did probably 20 years ago. It's a little cross stitch um, thing that I did. That took me forever to make. And it's so cute, but cross stitch kind of doesn't really match anywhere in my house anymore. So I just thought that I would put this in here. There's still places to hang my hang dry stuff, and um, and you know with it, with it hanging down, it's still fine with that little rack in here. Um, and then the cabinets and stuff, you know, I cleaned them all out and everything, but. Um, I didn't really do much of anything. I just kind of uh, wiped them out and put them back. The only thing that I did differently was that this is a little bit more cleaned up, um, a little bit more straightened up than it was before, but um, not a whole lot different in here, just that it was cleaned and vacuumed behind the appliances and all of that. Okay, so there you go. Um, you know, I just, I, I did, like I said, I did clean out my cabinets. Um, I just showed you that one cabinet because really my cabinets were pretty organized anyway. And so I did clean them out and they were not that dirty. There was one cabinet that had some soap drips, you know, like when your liquid detergent drips down the side and then it um, gets on the bottom. There was a little bit of that. Of course, I vacuumed behind the washer and dryer and um, and then as far as the decorating goes I didn't do a lot and I want I want to do more I really want to make that cute 
but being so close after the holidays, I just didn't want to run out and spend a bunch of money to decorate a laundry room. So that's why I just grabbed that picture that was in another place. It was behind a bathroom door in our guest bathroom. And, um, you know, it doesn't even get seen that much. So I moved that there and then put in that little quilt rack thing just to get it out of my guest bedroom. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do to decorate that laundry room, but I am going to do it. And I, I would really like to do it by next summer. So what I will do is when I do get the laundry room finished, when I get it all decorated, then I will do a video just about the decoration of my laundry room so you can see that. All right, so that was that. And it feels so good, I have to say, it feels so good to take care of these projects. Um, all right, so this next week's organizational project is the pantry. That is another big job. I know it's a big job because I just organized my pantry last summer. In fact, I have a video on it. So if you have not seen it and you want some ideas for organizing your pantry, look for, um, just go below my, below where this video screen is, where it says, a little, there's a little link that says videos. If you hit that, and then look for the video that says pantry organization. The other thing you can do is go to my Busy Being Jen main page on YouTube. It's youtube.com slash Busy Being Jen. And then the videos are kind of divided up into categories. And if you scroll down and look for the organization category, then you'll see the pantry organization um, video that's there. I put a lot of work into that last summer. Bought some things, some tiered shelf things and some baskets um, to use. And the organization of my pantry is wonderful. If you find that you're organizing a place over and over again, it means that the, the system you have isn't working. And that's what I had been trying to do with my pantry up until that point. And now it's wonderful. I don't have to keep reorganizing, which means it's working. Um, all of that to say, I'm not organizing my pantry this week. I'm not going to do that because I already did it. Um, that's not an excuse for you not to organize your pantry because it's a really good idea to get in there and check the expiration dates on food. And you know, when I organized my pantry, I found that I had four open bags of cornmeal. Four, because I didn't know what I had. And it's such a money waster when everything's just getting shoved to the back of your pantry and you don't know what you have. And so you don't think you have something, you run out and buy it. Um, I ended up dumping them all into one bag and, and everything, but, um, but now that everything is so well organized, I know what I have and I'm not going to be buying things that I already have. So how many times do I need to say that? Uh, but anyway, it's a really good thing. It's a big project. You have to take everything out of your pantry. Your counters will be covered with things. You'll probably fill up your trash with a bunch of stuff. And I even got like a door, like an organizer that hangs on the inside of my pantry door, all of that. And, um, but it's so worth it because really that in your kitchen, you access many times a day. It's not like you just go there once a week or something like that. It's something that you access a lot. And so I really think that it, it is one of those jobs that will really make you feel like you've done something. So I encourage you to do it. I do not have the printout to show you from a bowl full of lemons that tells all the details for cleaning out your pantry and their ideas for that because I'm filming this video a little bit early. My girlfriends and I are going to do a half marathon and, um, and so I wanted to get this video done so I can make sure that I have it uploaded on Tuesday because that's the day that I promised that I would always have these videos uploaded and so, um, but by Tuesday, then I will have the link to the printout below this video and also on my blog at busybeatinggen.com. So, so that will all be there. By the time you're seeing this, that will be available for you to access. Um, yeah, it's just that I don't have it to show you. But, um, but make sure you get that printable and do everything that they say because it's so helpful. So I'm not giving myself the week off. I have um, chosen another area and I knew, I've known for a couple of weeks that I was gonna do this in place of the pantry organization. So I'd actually even already purchased the supplies that I'm gonna use to fix this one area. There was a sale, an after Christmas sale at Michael's and I accessed, or I, I'm, I am utilizing something that, um, 
well, it doesn't look Christmassy, but you know, that they were selling for Christmas and I was able to get, get the stuff for 80% off. So anyway, it is a closet shelf in my uh, coat closet. And um, it is, well, it's been a mess. And so um, let me just show you what that looks like. So the area that I'm gonna work on this week is this. It's my coat closet, you can see, coat closet downstairs. And we've got the shelf here that's pretty low. It's only 11 inches from the bottom of one shelf to the top of the next. And Vanessa, stop crying. My other dog, Vanessa. Here, let's show Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. There she is. Okay, so, so let's go back over here. Sorry about that, she was crying. So um, this is a place where we keep our scarves, gloves, hats, mittens, dog sweaters, things like that. Um, we actually started by just tossing things. Oh, there's my, you can see some Kleenex box <laughs> refills because I've got a bathroom um, down here too. So anyway, but, um, but anyway, we started out by just putting stuff on this shelf, just putting it on the shelf. And of course, everything fell off and fell on the floor and it was hard to find things. And so these baskets here were my attempt at organization a couple of years ago. You can see, and I left this one turned around so you can see this. I bought these two baskets in an after Christmas sale at Michael's and this one, you can see it has, it was Christmas themed, they're both Christmas themed, but I turned the Christmas part the other direction so you don't see that. <laughs> but I had gotten a you know pretty good deal on that and thought that would be a good way of corralling things so that they wouldn't fall on the floor and th that it, it worked for that. Things do not fall on the floor, but they are jumbled mess inside each of those baskets. And even if we fold the scarves or put, you know, stack the gloves and all that kind of stuff, it just ends up a mess. So this is it. This is the project for the week. I have some ideas for what I think I might do, but um, we, we shall see next week. <laughs> all right. Okay, so there you go. That has been an area that has been driving us crazy for all seven years that we have lived in this house. So all seven winters that we've lived in this house, we've just had a crazy mess of gloves and scarves and hats and all of that. I have a, an idea, I'm so excited about it because I didn't even see it on like Pinterest or anything like that. I thought of it myself. And um, I'm really excited about how I'm gonna organize that, but I have to get to work this week. And, um, and do that. So I will be really, really excited next week to show you what I did with those things in my coat closet. And then maybe if you come to one of the weeks in this challenge where, where the, um, the area to clean doesn't apply to you, then maybe you could do something similar to this for yourself. But um, yeah, so this has been a really fun challenge for me. It's been really motivational to just kind of get into some areas of my house that I haven't straightened up in a while. Um, I was talking to my mom who was also doing this challenge and at her house, I mean, seriously, immaculate house, no clutter, always beautiful. And yet she was saying, Golly, in my kitchen, I think there's some cabinets that I haven't cleaned out since we moved into this house 10 years ago. And this is from Miss Clean of All Clean. And, um, and so she was getting into cabinets that had plates and glasses and things like that and just hadn't gotten into wipe out dust or anything like that that might have um, you know built up over 10 years. So I just think it's a really great challenge, helps you to feel like you've touched on every area of your house. And um, so I hope that if you are not currently doing the challenge that you would consider doing that. Um, also, hey, um, from last week, I had in last week's video, I had a giveaway for a dish drainer, a stainless steel dish drainer. This video is going up on Tuesday, is it the 20th? I think so. And so it's the, the giveaway for that is still going until midnight tonight. So if you are seeing this on Tuesday and you want to enter the giveaway, head on over to the organization week two, the laundry room, and watch that video and it will tell you how to enter the giveaway. Um, I will be um, selecting the winner 
you know, doing my little random number thing um, the next day on the 21st. And so then I'll notify the winner of the giveaway and I'll be contacting you. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope these are helpful videos for you. I look forward to seeing you next week. If you're not currently subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would just hit that subscribe button. YouTube can let you know when I upload new videos to this channel. Um, also, if you have a friend that you think might enjoy um, watching this video or the series, you can hit the little share button and you can share this video as well. And just so you know, if you're not familiar with my channel, I also do videos about travel, planning, life management, um, beauty, beauty products, open box videos, that kind of thing too. So I hope you'll come along and join me. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.